Hello, Hi. and welcome back to Zionic Entertainment. Today we're going to be unboxing a butcher box. We know you've probably heard about it. All sorts of goodies in here. And uh, the most exciting part, I'll leave to the wonderful wife. Oh, that's so out. sweet of you. I love opening things. Dang it. Don't worry, we're not going to do this entire video with the box right in front of you. We're going to be clever as a beaver and move it to the side. <laughs> Is that... How a beaver is clever? I think so. I think beavers are clever. I don't know. They build stuff. So, cleverer than her moving stuff to the side of the pit. Well, that's all right. But first, before we get started. All right, that's better. All right, well, let's take a look at what we got here. All right. So, we bought the bigger butcher box. Uh, in case you've never actually checked them out, since you know, ads never tell you how much they are a month. Um, you get to choose between a box that is 160 some dollars or a box that's like $309. Uh, so twice the poundage of meat. And then you get to choose from a variety of different steaks, beefs, bison, chicken, oh. salmon, bacon, pork, all sorts of such stuff. And let stuff. me just show you, since it is food being shipped... They do have a thick lining of insulation inside, right here. And so it's like this kind of recycled, pressed together material to ensure cold delivery. Fortunately for us, we live here in the frozen tundra <laughs> of the greater north of the United States. And, yeah, uh, even the, the top insert has that inside. We don't need any of this insulation. They could have thrown the meat at our front door and it would have been okay. Yeah, that's true. We're currently at below freezing right now. I think we just got like 36 inches of snow within the last week. Yeah, that's but true. But either too. which way, let's break into this box. I don't see what we got. I'm excited. A bag of air. Not yes! Crazy. It's going out of style, people. It, it, I'm telling you, you need air. Apparently pop, but it was a, uh, oh, dry ice. Oh, it melted. Okay, so they pack it with dry ice. That's cool. So yeah. they pack it with dry ice to keep it cold, and that evaporates in, in contact. Yeah. Nice. Anyway. Okay. Get your box real quick. It'll be steaming. Okay, first we have a two-pack of some grass-fed beef strips loin steak. Yep. Ten ounces each. So, these are New York, these are New York strip. New York? I think so, maybe. It says strip Just loin steak. Okay. Strip loin. Beef strip oh. loin steak. Yeah. All right, two of these, 10 ounces each. Heck yeah, perfect. Next, we got some grass-fed beef flat iron steaks, all uh, the 12 ounces each. So that's 10 ounces, 12 each. So that's 24 ounces right there of flat iron steak. All right. Loving this, lots of steak. I ordered this. Uh, we do love a good steak. I love air frying steak. Uh, it's an obvious entree to go with pretty much any meal. Grass fed is fantastic. Okay, so we got this pasture raised antibiotic free pork sausage. It's breakfast sausage at 16 ounces, one pound. One pound of breakfast sausage, okay. Mm, not that one yet. Okay, we got a four pack, two each, of grass fed beef top sirloin steak. Okay. The Twelve eight. ounces each. So I Twelve two. ounces per pack, right? Yeah, so it's so like two, two six eight, ounce. Six, six, okay. Six, six. So we got like four six ounce steaks to so twenty four ounces. Yeah. And this is top sirloin, okay. Right. I want that one. That one looks like it's got some good fatty got flavor. Got the good fat. Yeah. And I love a sirloin steak because they're smaller, easy to crust. You oh, do like a blue true. cheese crust, a Parmesan crust. Oh. You can bake and wrap them very easily. Like it's not oh, always true. easy to bake and wrap like a, a loin strip a steak like this. Cut. So, yeah. but you could do bacon around here. You could stuff it with goat cheese. A lot of options. So. Uh, definitely like, you know, if you're, if you're cheese, trying to get the expensive, with your steak. yeah, if you're trying to get the expensive entree part of the meal, obviously like this is a butcher box. There's not going to be any vegetables in here. This is all, this is all man's food. Women can eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> I right. like 
the meat of. <laughs> well, like Arby's up in here. <laughs> yeah. We have the meat. We out. have the meat. Let's keep going. Okay, these are ribeye steaks. Also grass fed, 10 ounces each, 20 ounces total. Ribeyes. I love a ribeye. Ribeyes are a little bit fatter. They're yeah. typically a cheaper steak, but I think they're fantastic. Well, see, whenever we go out, he always gets a king cut. I always get the ribeye. But yeah, I always get a king cut prime rib. Yeah, yeah, yeah you get, get a ribeye. Rib Absolutely, I love me some prime rib. <gasps> what we got? What are these? Ten ounces? Yep, ten each. Okay. Just gonna throw up some math for you. Okay. Gotta start stacking steak here. There's so much of it. Here we got sweet Italian ground pork sausage. This is pork sausage? Yep. Sweet pork Italian. Sausage. It's Italian sausage. So this is not. Uh, two pounds, one each. This is not going to be breakfast sausage. This is going to be sausage that you use on pizzas, that you put in pasta dishes. Yeah. What else do you do with a, a Italian sausage, sweet sausage? Um, you, you eat you it. Eat you eat it. You can eat it, you know? Uh, say, you, could, you can make some nice meatballs. Yeah, yeah, that's what you do. You make meatballs with Italian sausage. Yeah. So you do your own meatballs, you do pastas, you make like, you know, if you want to yeah, put like pizza. uh, pizzas, lasagnas. Something with meat more in. savory, yeah, not really Absolutely. A so as opposed to this, which is breakfast sausage. Yeah, so that's going to be like a sweeter, more maple flavor as opposed to like a deeper umami flavor. Look at her. Went to culinary school or something. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> okay, we got this, uh... Crazy tasty uncured bacon. And I'm assuming it's a pound. Yep, and this one is, pound. This is they have two types of bacon. Oh, this is tender this belly. This is the tender belly bacon. So I think that, I got some of each. So it's that good good. It's it's a thicker cut, tender belly bacon. They have a different like apple with smoke butcher box bacon. We'll get to it in a second here. Right. But uh But yeah, right. but no antibiotics, no added hormones, and it's crate free bacon. Love that. Certified humane. We got some raw golf shrimp. And super plus, if you notice here, probably can't see it, but it says whole 30 approved. So if you're on a whole 30 regimen, this is right. for you. No additives, nothing processed, which is actually going to be everything that's here. Everything's going to be no additives. Nothing processed, uh, as far as I know. Yeah, if you want more information, it says right here, you can visit Whole30.com. So, seafood, uh, love that they got wild-caught seafood. Yeah, All their uh, seafood's wild-caught. Oh, 31 to 40 size per pound. And so like this. Sh medium, small shrimp. <laughs> medium, small. Sh mediums. Sh medium. Sh medium shrimp. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a pound right here. Pound of shrimp. All right, wild-caught. Love it. I've heard sockeye is very popular among the salmon lovers. So oh, this wild is... caught Alaskan sockeye is the salmon of salmon. Yeah. I think. I <laughs> Two pounds. So I've heard. Two pounds? Certified sustainable. Now what's in here? What's, uh, this? I feel like little inner packs in here. So, okay, so it says... There's eight fillets in here. Mm. So there's so two like pounds. Eight, so eight. there's eight quarter pound fillets in here, give or take. So yeah, that's so, cool. So if you're really like a, a two person environment, that lasts you. Thaw, Is cook, consume. How many soon. inner packs? It should, it should be eight, eight yeah, servings so of fillets. Four meals. Absolutely. For a two person environment. Well, and I mean, like, they're so wild caught sockeye salmon is a. Uh, Safe to eat raw. It's safe on the oh, mercury level. Yeah. So you can do a lot with this. You can do like little salmon rolls rolled up with like guac or butter or cream. Sush. Sush. You can make sushi. the sush with this. Yeah, we this is sush salmon for sure. Um, but also you could herb crust this. You could air fry it. You could put an herb butter compound we on top. We air fry our salmon all the time. We air fry our salmon a lot. I make an herb butter compound we put on top. Stick it in the air fryer, 375, eight minutes, depending on how thick the filet is, melts down all over it. If there's skin on the bottom, which it looks like these have, it always comes like oh, right off right it. Off. The air fryer is so perfect. Oh, but it cooks it so well that- You can eat the skin without it being too chewy. And, it's fantastic. And we've eaten 
skin off of salmon from the air fryer and it actually is not bad. It tastes pretty good. Oh, and oh, so you get two bags of those actually. Oh, we ordered two of that. Heck yeah. Love okay. salmon. You get your good omega threes. Oh, well, yeah, a bunch of ton of good fatty acids in there. So all this is seeming really healthy right now. Anyone who tells you red meat is bad for you hasn't read like any nutritional information from the last 10 years. Yeah, there's actually studies on it. Red meat is great for you. Actually, chicken is like a medium grade protein. So if uh, somebody tries to fight you on that, do your research and put them in their but, place. But grain fed cattle is bad. It denatures the fats and the proteins in it. It, 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 not, it doesn't just take it out. It makes what's in there bad for you. So you right. want grass-fed meat. So we already buy grass-fed meat at the store, and that's kind of what I'm doing a cost comparison on here to see if this $309 is going to be worth it. Okay, so circling back to bacon. This is the oh, applewood. The applewood smoked bacon. Nice. Also, no sugar. Also, Whole30 approved, like we had mentioned before. Also gives the website right there. Super easy to remember. Also certified humane, raised and handled. You can, for more information, visit certifiedhumane.org. That's a real website. Yeah. No. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it sounded like a joke, but he's not kidding. Okay. Yeah, so this is 10 ounces, so not quite a pound. Okay. Okay. Next. Which I'm going to wrap around my sirloin steaks, in case you're why wondering. why wouldn't you try that? On a meal that's gonna be like a little bit of surf and turf with bacon wrapped, little six ounce sirloins, and then a salmon filet with an herb crusting on it, some herb butter, and I don't know, probably, probably rice. You gotta have a carb, right? Yeah. You gotta have a carb, small carb. Love rice, so Love versatile. Rice. It's a good base for like MCT oil, stuff like oh, that. Oh, you we'll can also that. make it into a dessert. Add some sugar and cinnamon. Mwah. Mwah. Last. Chef's oh, kiss. two items left. So we have two pounds of ground beef, 100% grass fed. Yeah. And pounds. what is it? 85-15? Yes. Yes. 85-15 fat. Which again, fatty ground beef is good for you if it's grass fed. Now here's what I love about this. This is free. Yeah. I get these two pounds of grass fed beef for free in the lifetime of my subscription. Now. I got emails from Butcher Box for a while because I almost signed up and I didn't. I got the emails from them for like a year. And so he's saying that wait for the deal. Yeah. Wait for the deal. Yeah. I mean, like, go get it right now if like, you want. Whatever. Like sign up and make an account, right? Yeah, and then don't and then, follow through. Right. And they will start giving you monthly deals to try. And they offered me free bacon for life. They offered me a free Thanksgiving turkey one time, though. So right. I. Now I don't once they, they they roll out different deals depending but on the time of year. I knew that this was the better offer. Like 20, like like a, where we live, you know, I'm sure it depends on where you live, but a pound of grass fed ground beef can be like eight, nine dollars. Sometimes you can get a little cheaper. We're located in Minnesota. We are in Minnesota, the great north. And uh so I definitely this is this felt like shipped to my door for the lifetime of my membership, uh, which you can set your membership to every two, four, six, or eight weeks. So if you get the $169 membership, I still got two. I didn't have to do the 309 to get two. I get two no matter what size my box is. I can change it any time. I can delay it. I can skip an order. I can go down to eight weeks, go up to every two weeks, whatever you want to do. So you got tons of options, a lot of versatility. And there's a lot of things there that I didn't buy. I, this is obviously just some of it. And I think we're not even done yet, right? One more no, thing? No, one more thing. <laughs> Probably my favorite, what I'm most excited for. Oh, yes. Scallops. I ordered scallops. Thank you, past me. Future me appreciates <laughs> 10 Heck to 20 yeah. count. 10 to 20 count. All natural, no chemicals or water added. And it's sustainably harvest in the cold waters of the Georges Bank. I think I said that right. It's a pound. And it's wild caught, like we mentioned. Yeah. Yep. That's about it. 10 to 20 in a pound. Wild caught, sustainably raised, harvested. Oh, so good. You ever had these in just like pure butter? 
Got a scampia. Scampy. You want a scampy. Yeah. So that was the last item. That was my favorite item. So he's doing some math here. All right. Now, these are total guessing prices. All right. And, and my guesses are probably not based on it being grass-fed, on it being the expensive bacon, on it being wild-caught scallops. Scallops are expensive. Um, but I do know what wild-caught salmon costs. I do know what grass-fed ground beef costs. I do know what grass-fed ribeyes cost, which, again, are on the cheaper end of steaks. And uh, you can really only find... So another thing about this is you can't find... Uh, holistically raised bacon in any of the local stores around us and I'm, I'm talking about it doesn't matter if you go to Von Hansen's if you go to Aldi's if you go to Hy-Vee like they usually have like a little bit of grass fed they have some ground beef they might have some ribeyes or New York strips and that is the extent of that completely yes you can usually find wild caught seafood but like wild caught shrimp uh, gulf shrimp are going to be expensive um, you can't find really good holistically raised pork. It's really and, hard. And usually if you go to like a co-op, like you, you, they have great options. It's so expensive. And it, but it's so expensive. It's so expensive. So I'll, t I'll tell you what, I, I did some quick math here and, uh, and this was 309 and my total came to 196. I probably lowballed a lot of the options here. Um, my, my total came to 196. Uh, and that's assuming that like the two, uh, strip loin steaks at 10 ounces each was only 20 bucks. So like a buck an ounce. And, and the, the, the honest assessment is probably be like a buck 15 ounce if I could even find that type of steak. So this could easily be more along 260, 280. It's frozen immediately. It's never been thawed before. It goes from processor to frozen if I understand how butcher box works. So we're going to put this in the freezer and that way, again, the nat the fats, the proteins aren't denatured. Right, um, and what I love about it is it shows up frozen at our door because of the dry ice and the shipping. Um, so I can just put it straight into the freezer, and we can just pull out as needed. So we don't have to bring home fresh items and freeze them ourselves. They're already frozen, so they keep for a lot longer than if you were to buy fresh things, not freeze them, and then try to use them up before they go bad because... We're definitely the type of people who, you know, aren't 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 as on top of what's in our fridge, and we let stuff go bad by accident. Well, uh, he, here's and the, that's such a shame because these things, groceries are so expensive in today's world. Especially if you're buying organic, if you're buying yeah. grass fed, if you're buying holistic. And I, here's my thing: I, this is a body built on Taco Bell right here, <laughs> okay? And I want to eat healthy. I shop healthy at the grocery store, but if I'm out of groceries. Chances are I'm going to take the the cheap route. You know I'm going for that Tostino's pizza. <laughs> but if I have pizza. if I have all this, so I, uh, let's let's say I lowball this extre extremely. If I went and actually tried to shop these things, it cost me two hundred and fifty bucks. This cost me three hundred nine free shipping, shipped to my door, three hundred nine dollars. I ask myself the question: Is it worth? you know, $50 uh, a month or every eight weeks or something like that for me to make sure I have good, healthy options on hand? Maybe. Probably depends on where you're at in your life. Am I excited to eat some of this stuff? Yeah, Heck absolutely. Yeah. Heck yeah. Absolutely. We'll be back to you to let you know how some of this goes. Yeah, we could even, you know, check back and we could have some ways that we're going to use this stuff up in some recipes so you don't have to think for yourself absolutely i'll make some meatballs meatballs some salmon sush some niger um scallop scampi absolutely making scallop scampi yeah and shrimp scampi we're making all sorts of seafood or some uh, parmesan crusted goat cheese filled steaks <sighs> that's a tall order and that said, there are more options on here. Again, at the butcher box, I didn't yeah, buy. Yeah, they do, they have more than just. What Maybe we've shown you. I will do another box in the future. I'm like, if I'm sure if I if I tried to, yo, know, you pick eleven, you pick ten things, and these are the ten things I picked. You know, this two pack was one thing, this two pack is one thing, this four pack is one thing. But like one of the things you can buy is pick is like a three and a half pound whole chicken. Well, if you just got all of those, you get thirty five pounds of meat instead of 22 pounds of meat you know what i mean so it's still holistically like you know 
know any antibiotics, holistically raised chicken or whatever, or if I did nothing but pick 10 of these things of sockeye salmon, each one of these is two pounds. I, that would definitely change whether or not I felt like this was cost effective. Uh, scallops are like 30 bucks for a pound sometimes. They're so expensive. They're so expensive. It makes sense because they're so delicious if you're a seafood person. We are big seafood people. So, I mean, if I bought, made of those, I'd probably feel different about it. But you know, I'm not going to eat 10 things of just scallops. But I, they could be 30 bucks. Right. So, 25, 28, something like that. And then this are, again... Wild caught, sustainably harvested in the cold waters waters of the Georgia's Bank. Yeah. Or wherever the Georgia's Bank. Like Jim is. Gaffigan says, you know, you gotta have your your tools to eat your food. I'm sorry, I sign up for that. I don't care if it's harder; it tastes better. <laughs> well, that's all we got for you. I uh, I'm not disappointed. I don't feel like it was a great financial deal. But I think it might be a financially worth it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm yeah. super excited. As, especially as compared to, like, if you were to buy the same amount of product in a grocery store. Well, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to like and subscribe our video. Share yeah. it. Hang out. We got more content coming out. We're going to talk about more things you could spend money on and all sorts of stuff. Thanks for sticking with us.